Yo, what's up, gangsters? What's up, guys? It's a movie quote. Um, today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Southern Live Oak, also called the uh, Quercus Virginiana. That's its Latin name if you're into, you know, different languages and stuff and botanical names and everything. Um, it's a pretty extraordinary tree. I'm here in Central Texas in Austin, and this tree grows a lot around here and also all the way over to Florida. And the reason why I wanted to highlight this tree is because it's an evergreen tree. It grows huge. It can get super old and it has multiple uses. And so I think it's good to be familiar with a tree like that that you see around you that's also native. So three things about the Southern Live Oak that are most important to me, I think, is that there's edible acorns and the wood is very hard. It can be used for building with. And also, oh yes, because it's so hard, it can be used for burning. So if you want hot fires and you want fires that burn for a long time, get fallen oak branches and whatnot. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going and chopping down a bunch of oaks just to build something, but that's what they've been used for a lot in the past. They used to be built, used to be um, used for building ships out of because a lot of the curvy wood of the oaks would make good ship wood. All right, so I'll give you a little overview of the, what the tree looks like, how to identify it, and then the sort of little bit of ways to use it. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, here is the wide angle view of the Southern Live Oak. You can see it's got a kind of a rounded top, it creates a bunch of shade underneath. And here's some of the other trees nearby. You got some other oaks over there. Um, it's not grown necessarily as big yet, but anyhow, we are in late February, still got its leaves. These are evergreen trees, although they do switch out their leaves at the end of winter. So probably in the next few weeks or so, they're gonna be um, changing the guard, bringing in some new leaves. That lasts only about two weeks though. And taking a look at the tree leaves here, pretty glossy, but very hard. Inside a little bit paler. Up here, you got some, some ball moss. Um, it's just something that, it's not actually grass, uh, a moss, but it's a flowering plant that actually just grows in tandem with the oak tree. Like, Human environments, you'll see it in a lot of trees around here in Texas. Uh, you can see the spent flowers there, pretty cool. But it just grows in tandem with the tree, which is pretty interesting. And um, yeah, we'll take a look under the canopy here, walk a little bit closer. We got this little double trunk action going on there. And um, take a peek up here. So the bark, it's uh, not too, you know, special looking. It's gray, brownish, um, kind of relatively deeply grooved in there. You can see, um, I got a little bit of vine action growing there. You'll see that a lot on oaks. So this is the Quercus virginiana, the Southern live oak. And one of the ways to differentiate this from the Quercus fusiformis, which also grows around here in central Texas, is that this one is bigger. It's got more plump acorns show you a little photo right here. The fusiformis have the more spindly thin ones. And the Southern Live Oak tends to grow in wetter areas. So we got a little creek bed going right there. So this is probably pulling up some of that water way down in the soil here. Um, so it's definitely a better environment for this type of tree. And uh, yeah, so that's a little intro to this tree. And like I said before, there's a few main uses you can eat the acorns, but you gotta put in some work into it. Native Americans used to eat a lot of acorns, different Native Americans, tribes. Um, they have different strategies for it. They would um, soak the acorns in a creek, put them in a bag, grind them up, um, let them soak, get all the tannins out, the bitter parts of the acorns, and then eventually they'll be edible. You can do the same thing. You can boil them. It kind of removes a little bit of the flavor. But I suggest looking up different ways to consume acorns because they grow abundantly. You don't even have to try. They just freaking fall off the tree once a year. So that's a good thing. And the wood is super hard. If you see a fallen limb, if you're looking to start a fire anywhere, just look around the base of an oak tree and the little fallen limbs, they'll burn for a really long time. They burn really hot. So very effective and efficient use of firewood there. And um, if you're gonna build something, I wouldn't suggest going and chopping down an oak tree, but uh, it's one of the hardest woods out there, so it's really good for building. And yeah, it's a native tree, and it's pretty extravagant. People call it the tree of life. People call a lot of trees the tree of life. But um, 
pretty cool tree and yeah all right hope you enjoyed this video hope it was informative provide a little bit of uh, insight about the local flora all right uh if you like this please like it and subscribe and uh we'll keep trying to make more videos all right thanks for watching